everybody, Mr. Grady, the old gatekeeper here. I appreciate your patience, man. I know you've been waiting a little second for this uh, y -mote. Things have uh, been pretty hectic around here trying to get caught up on work. <clears throat> for the first time since I've been doing this, I had to quit taking in amplifier build orders as of about a month and a half ago, a little bit over a month and a half ago. First time I've ever had to do that, but I just finally came to the conclusion that I better go ahead and start doing that now and get caught up a good bit before I start taking them back in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's just been real hectic, man. I really do apologize about that. Uh, but anyway, here's your y -mote, a Blue y -mote. even got the cable to match it had some laying around I thought I'd use it well anyway man I'm gonna show you how to program this thing just in case if for some reason the module ever needs to uh, ever resets on you if you ever lose your remote need to program a new new remote if you ever want to change the setting like I said there's three different settings that you can use with this one is you press the a button and hold it down and the module the y mote will come on you let it go and it comes off about the only reason you'd need to use that if you're in a competition or something you're like one 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 you let go and it, and it unkeys and I've thought about making a little box uh, to also turn your radio on at the same time you know you got two people doing that and there ain't no way they're gonna key on each other but anyway you got two which is you press the A button, the Y mote turns on, press the A button again, it turns off. And see, that's something that you would use if this was a one button remote control, which it ain't. So you, you can now do the third option, which is A, turn on, B, turn off. We'll program it with that first, okay? All right, first I'm gonna show you how to erase the memory. So we're gonna erase the memory now just like if it was just right when I got done installing it, right when I got done uh, modifying it and uh, putting it together. So we're going to erase the memory. Here's your programming button right here. This is your fuse panel. This is just for short circuit protection. It's just in case there's something wrong inside the amplifier, you plug that into something that is not wired up correctly. This right here is going to pop and keep this module safe. All right, so we're going to press the learning button down and hold it. And basically, you're going to hold it until it does all beeps. One. Two. All right, so it does one. Well, I meant to turn my Wi-Fi off before I started recording. Sorry about that. Somebody called and it kicked me off. All right. So now this y mode is the, the memory is completely wiped. Okay. It is literally the way it would come straight from the manufacturer now. The actual module itself. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and program how I want it to be used. So we're going to start off. We we'll press A to turn it on, B to turn it off. So I'm going to go with the three beats. So we're going to go past the first consecutive beat, which that's actually your pairing beat for your for your remote. So we're going to do three beeps, and we're going to let go immediately after the third beep. All right, that's your pairing beat to program your remote. We're not doing that yet. One. Two. Go ahead and let go immediately. Like I said, to wipe it, you'll you'll hold it for about another five seconds. I don't know if that got cut off when some when somebody just called just in, but to wipe it, you would continue holding it for about another five seconds after the third beep. All right. Now it's programmed on how it's going to work. Now let's program our remote. All right. So basically, you're going to hold it, and as soon as you start hearing that first beep start, go ahead and let it go. Grab your remote and press the A button and hold it down. Go ahead and let go. There you go. All right, you're going to press B to turn it off. You see what I'm saying? A, 
B to turn it off. All right, now let's program it for B. I mean for uh, A to turn it off, on, and then A to turn it back off, okay? So I'm gonna hold this down. We're gonna go to two beats. One, and let go. All right, now we're gonna pair, pair it back. That's just the way the module works, see? So we're gonna pair it back. All right, and we're gonna press A again to turn it off. And this thing has awesome range. I'm sitting here holding the remote way away from it, pointing it away. I've already walked all the way across the driveway. It's got great range. All right, now real quick, we're gonna program it for basically monetary is momentary. I mean, monetary, what the heck am I saying? Momentary, one beat. I know it's probably boring for some people to watch, but it ain't for, all right, let go. It ain't for somebody that's uh, needing to program this thing. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna hold it down to pair it again. Let go. Let's see, when, see now, this is momentary. Press A to hold it down, let go. One, 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 one. <laughs> All right, but we're going to go ahead and program it back to the third one. I'm sure that's probably going to be the one you're going to like to use, possibly. But if you wish to program it to something else, now you know how to do it, bud. This is the one I like to use when I have two buttons. Let go. Press again to pair it. I'm holding it down until it turns on be to turn off all right bud let's plug this thing up to a amplifier and let you see it working in real action all righty i got my buddy's uh gk 400 right here hooked up this box has seen some good use just put some hgs in that bad boy not too 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 long ago it didn't take long at all to do this is some good high high dollar cable too man this, this cable is shielded. I like to use this cable if I'm able to. I mean, this thing right here alone costs like seven bucks just for what you see right here. It's like twelve dollars for the whole cable. All right. If you if you can help it, this is with any remote. It's good to try to plug it up to your to your amplifier with your power off if you can help it. But this thing is fused. Most of your remotes that you get out there will not have a fuse on the back of it, which I absolutely do not agree with. I have seen catastrophes happen just because of that. Me personally, I believe that any remote, any kind of wire that's leaving a source of power and going somewhere else, feet so you know, feet up to however many feet away, should have a fuse on it. And uh, even if I ever do a wired remote, which I don't do many at all, as you can see, but sometimes I do, I always put a fuse on the wired remotes. I learned the hard way myself. All right, let's turn the power on on the supply. All right, bud. There you go. There's your wire mode in operation, my friend. It eliminates any kind of wiring. You don't have to do that extra wiring from the front to the back. If you wanted to, you could throw you some Velcro on the bottom of this box right here. And if you got a big box or something, you could just Velcro it to the back of the box. Or uh, maybe one of these days I will uh, talk to my box builder, the guy that makes my cases here. Give a major shout out to my buddy in the Florida area, Mr. Lone Moore Man. Without Lawnmower Man, I wouldn't have these awesome, heavy-duty, high-quality boxes, man. These things are are really, really high-grade boxes. 
Most people be using plastic or some thin metal. These particular ones has some thin metal on the top, but on the bottom, I mean, this is some real s stiff aluminum, man. This is some high quality, high quality box. He, he, he does a great job in the boxes. But um, maybe one of these days I'll get a mounting bracket or something, or maybe I'll just get some ideas from some customers on on idea, you know, ways that they would like to mount their their wine boats because. I mean, these things be, needs to be close to your amplifier, man. The good thing about it, too, here's another positive great A about the wireless remote, the Y-Mote. Y-Mote is short for wireless remote, and I am getting it trademarked. Luckily, nobody else has, is using this name out there in the world. Somebody is using W-I-I, but not Y-Mote. Um... Hey, it's just simplicity. That's all it is. It's just simplicity with a down south Georgia twist. The gatekeeper said that. <laughs> <laughs> I just had the idea one day, and hell, I just, I just rolled with it. It took it. T there was some learning curves, y'all, because there is some modules out there that do not work worth a crap. Let me show you. Yeah. Here's my Y mode box right here. This is all the stuff that I gotta have. I'm about to be putting all this in a bin. Where is it at? Where's my failed bag? Here it is. This is a failed bag. This ain't all of them, but these are modules that I have went through and tested that do not work worth the crap. Of course, you can't tell which one they are, but there's one, two, three, four. See, I've had to go through these four or five. I think I went through at least seven. I think that's a magic number seven because I remember sitting there thinking seven. I always remember the seven because I got a tattoo of seven right there. And that's how I remembered. That's how I remember. <laughs> that's just how I remember things, y'all. You got to associate. It's called the word association. And I just remembered it took me it, it i went through seven of these modules that wasn't worth a crap and i had to buy from two or three different countries but seven modules i found that were, were, were not useful and i remembered thinking well seven's the number of completion right so it just so happened to be i went through seven to find the, the modules that are worth using you know so a little bit of leg work well, there you go. Hope you enjoy, bud. Again, thanks for uh, hanging in there with me, man. Uh, I think we're going to start getting these things produced a lot quicker. And get a lot more of these out there. Um, got a buddy out in the Carolinas going to be helping me with some production. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, basically share all the knowledge that I've gained throughout the last four or five years that I've been building these. Like I said, there's nothing, there's, there's nothing deep about them. It's simplicity. That's all it is. It's simplicity. With a deep down Georgia twist. The y -moat. Oh, the last thing I was going to tell you. Something that is a benefit from using a wireless remote like this. If you think about it, if you got you a big amplifier, four fans, six fans, etc., and you got that thin wire running all the way to the back, all the way to the front, you got to think that power has to come from your hot bus of your amplifier, go all the way to the front, to your switch, and go back all the way to the back. Now think about the voltage drop that you have going through all that wire. So your fans are going to run at a lower speed. The cool thing about this is look how far it's got to travel. What is that, three feet? Somewhere around there? So you get less of a voltage drop. And that means you got less of an amperage drop. So that is another big plus. And I have had no issues at all with RF bothering these. But anyway, I ain't trying to make a big sales pitch. So let me get on off here. Oh, gatekeeper said it. What's up, girl? Huh? You got food? Leave me alone.
Sorry, I know it's a big mess. I'm just going to reach over here and turn this thing on. Look at that right there, y'all. It's turning on. Let's turn it on. Let's take the remote and point it away from me and turn it on. I got it pointed away from me and I'm turning it off. All right, 73s, y'all. I'm gone. Bye-bye. God bless.